today I'm going to make a video uh, because I have ordered some watercolors and I was thinking, excuse me, <coughs> sorry about that, uh, making an unboxing because I have never done that before uh, on video and um, as I said in an earlier video I have only been using watercolor for a few months and I uh, the first one I bought was this uh, Winsor Newton pocket size. It's the cheaper range, uh, Cotman. Uh, it looks like this, and I. These colors are really transparent, which is one of the beauty of me uh, using watercolor. Uh, but for me, it's a bit too transparent, so. Um, these are great to take out in the summer, painting outside because it's small and it comes with this retractable brush. Um, but I'm not so crazy about the, the quality of the colors. Uh, so I, in Sweden it's really hard to find cheap watercolor because they are they are pricey and if you want cheap ones you get the more for children the more opaque ones but we do have um, Russian colors uh, they are called St. Petersburg or I think they have changed the name to White Knights I'm not sure uh, and I bought the 12 palette uh, and I like this much more than the other ones uh, I think that the binding is honey in this one and you can really feel it because they, the colors are very creamy um, this is not all the colors that came in the 12 palette I have replaced four of them the four ones I have taken out uh, are these ones and it's um, the cadmium red light carmine uh, one of those emerald green and blue and I've replaced them with golden mad lake red light uh, indigo and Russian blue I think it was so I have um, this, this is a swatch for this palette palette uh, cadmium lemon cadmium lemon medium yellow oak golden metal lake red light burnt amber ultramarine Prussian blue neutral black indigo green and amber um, you don't have to have a lot of watercolors. You can manage with three or six. If you have six colors, to one warm and cold of yellow, red, and blue, you can mix them and get almost any color except white and white. I I don't know why you should use white in when you're using watercolor, but. I think uh, it can be good to brighten up colors uh, but I feel like I mm, sometimes I get a bit lazy and I want to have more than three or six colors and I'm painting mostly landscape and nature and birds and stuff like that so I like to have the earthy or sedimentary colors, the one that's a bit grainy, the, um, the ones you can pick up very easily and that is muted colors. Uh, and I also like blue colors. <laughs> so I have made this palette and I have ordered 12 more uh, full pans, this is the whole pans, uh, it's twice as much as in the each pan than the 
the Wins and Newton ones. Uh, so I have ordered 12 other colors except for one, the indigo I already have. So I'm going to open this. I'm making a pause here just to keep it going. So um, this is what I have bought. I bought uh, an empty case for 24 half pans. I don't know if it's called that in English, but I say anyway, you have to live with that. Uh, or 12 whole pans like this. Uh, this normal case. And then I uh, got the colors and these are really cheap ones. I think that each pan costs 15 Swedish kronor, <laughs> which is, it's hard to translate currency because you don't have the nation's value, you know, what it costs to live and everything like that, but you can easily say it's not more than a dollar each. Sorry if I'm not noisy sound uh, and here are the 12 I bought and they come like in these little packages uh, I'm going to go through the ones I bought and then I come back and I'm going to swatch them as well uh, cobalt blue this one lost its paper. Uh, got the. Uh, I think this is the cerulean blue. Uh, I think it's called um, Naples yellow. Burnt sienna. And this is. Ooh, only the Bordeaux red, red oak, and this is Mars brown, and the wrong side, the indigo one as I already have, and the. Yeah, yeah. Uh, olive green and lemon and paints gray. Uh, I'm going to open this and put them in the case and I'll come back. Woohoo, I'm back. Uh, so this is the new palette I'm going to make. Uh, swatching these colors. Um, I always have a swatch in the lid. I did the first one too. Big. Here are the blue ones. And this must be the indigo. Break up. Olive green and sepia and paints 
Great. So, um, I have to think about if I going to rearrange the colors and perhaps put the ones I use most frequently in one case and the other in, in another case. Anyhow, the reason I uh, bought new watercolor was that uh, two days ago I had a few minutes to do some painting and I had in my Moleskin watercolor notebook, notebook, watercolor book, uh, I have had made these uh, background for not anything particularly uh, and um, I have seen a photo uh, online of a bird uh, cardinal bird, red cardinal. We don't have that bird here in Sweden so but I uh, was thinking that since I have painted this it was red and the St. Petersburg's colors are rather opaque that I could do something red on top of this uh, and this was I'm really pleased the way it turned out because it's the way I like to paint. It took a few minutes to draw out the contours with a pencil. I always do that. I'm not ashamed to say that I do that. I like and I like that you after you have painted with the watercolors that you still can see the lines of, of the pencil. I'm not erasing them. Uh, and then I just filled in the bird's shape with clear water and dab in color and the painting just painted itself and that's that's the way I like it. It took me about five minutes to do and um, this is what it came out like. Uh, the camera is not picking up the colors, it's much more red. Uh, you can see the uh, pencil lines uh, but I I really like this one it's not that I'm saying I'm excellent in making uh, paintings but it's rarely I like something I do it I didn't put my soul into it it's nothing like that it's just nice and probably going to be our Christmas card this year I don't think I have anyone watching this channel uh, so that's it. Enjoy your journaling, paintings, whatever you do. And I'll be back uh, in the beginning of December with a For Hobonichi clip. Bye bye and take care. <laughs>